In this tutorial, you'll learn how to add a rainbow effect to your photos. I'll also show you how to customize the rainbow according to your image and make it blend naturally within your landscape shot. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along, in addition to the rainbow image used in this tutorial. Now let's get started. I have PaintShop Pro opened up with this image of a dark gray sky over a mountain, and I want to add a splash of color to it with this rainbow. I also have opened up a PNG file of a rainbow that we're going to copy over to the image of the sky. Of course, right now this rainbow looks very cartoonish, but we're going to use a few different effects within PaintShop Pro to blend it perfectly within our photograph. So we have a PNG file of a complete full rainbow from one end to the other. Now, depending on the picture you're using, you might want to use this entire rainbow to add a full rainbow to your picture, or you might want to use just a portion of it if you want a more natural looking partial rainbow through the sky. If you want to select the full rainbow, go to Edit, then Copy. Then go over to your photograph and select Edit, Paste as New Layer. But if you just want a partial rainbow, click on the Square Selection tool, then draw a box over the part of the rainbow you want to use. And again, go to Edit, then Copy. Then we'll go back to our photograph and as before, go to Edit, Paste as New Layer to add the rainbow over top of our photograph. Make sure you have the Layers palette opened up by going to Palettes, then Layers. Now using the Pick tool, we can position our rainbow where we want it and drag on the nodes to resize the rainbow. With the rainbow layer still selected, we'll change the blend mode from the drop down menu under the layers palette to screen or soft light. I'm going to select soft light. This lightens up the colors of the rainbow and also makes it blend in better with the photo behind it. Now we need to blur the colors together even more so it looks realistic within the sky. We'll go to adjust, then blur, then Gaussian blur. Now adjust the radius until the rainbow blends naturally into the sky background behind the mountain. For this photograph, I'll adjust the radius somewhere between 60 and 65. You also may need to make some slight adjustments to the shape and perspective of the rainbow depending on your main photograph. We can select the pick tool, and from here we can use the shearing or perspective modes to adjust the image. Shearing will skew the layer vertically or horizontally, like so. And if we switch to the perspective mode, we can correct the perspective or apply a false perspective. And we'll make these adjustments by dragging the control handles. Now we need to make the ends of the rainbow slowly fade away into the sky or behind the mountain. To do this, we'll select the eraser tool on the left. Then we'll select a round brush shape and adjust our brush size. We'll decrease the hardness level to about 25. Then decrease the density level to around 55 and change the opacity level to around 40. Now start erasing over the ends of the rainbow slowly to give the illusion the rainbow is disappearing into the sky. And as you continue up the rainbow, you can decrease the opacity level even more so it has a gradual blend into the brighter rainbow at the top. As a final touch, you can change the opacity level of the layer from the Layers palette to make the entire rainbow blend even better with the background, and depending on how bright or faint you want the rainbow. If you want to add a double rainbow effect, simply right-click on the rainbow layer and select Duplicate. Then place the rainbow where you want it, and bring down the opacity level even more. You can also experiment with another blend mode, like Dodge or Burn, to give it a lighter or darker effect. And finally, just clean up any areas you want removed with the Eraser tool. And now we've added a beautiful rainbow effect on our photograph, giving it a nice colorful touch. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.